Hello everyone and welcome back to Texobot. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Optical Character Recognition, OCR, using Azure AI Vision. We'll guide you through reading text from images using the Azure AI Vision SDK. Let's get started. Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, is a subset of computer vision that focuses on reading text from images and documents. With Azure AI Vision, we have a powerful API at our disposal to accomplish this task. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to leverage this technology using Python. Step one, clone the repository. First, we'll need to clone the repository provided for this course. This repository contains all the code samples and necessary files. Open PyCharm, go to project. Get from BCS. Paste the repository URL and click clone. Once cloned, open the project in PyCharm. Step two, provision an Azure AI services resource. Next, let's set up an Azure AI services resource. Go to the Azure portal and sign in. Look for Azure AI services and create a new resource. Choose your Azure subscription and select or create a resource group. Pick a region from the list that works best for you and give your new resource a unique name. For the pricing tier, select standard S0. Once your resource is created, head over to the key and endpoint page. Here, you'll find the endpoint and one of the key you'll need later on. Step three, install required packages. Now, let's install the necessary Python packages. We're using Python 3.9.0 for this tutorial. Open a terminal in PyCharm and run these commands. These packages will enable us to use the Azure AI Vision SDK and handle images. Step four, update configuration. Next, update the configuration file with your Azure AI endpoint and key. In PyCharm, open the env file in the read text folder. Add your Azure AI endpoint and key like this. Step five, Import necessary namespaces. Open the read text pi file and under the existing imports, add the following code to import the necessary namespaces. These libraries will enable us to interact with Azure Cognitive Services and perform OCR. Step six, authenticate Azure AI Vision Client. Next, we will authenticate the Azure AI Vision Client. In the file, find the comment authenticate Azure AI Vision Client and add the following code. This is used to authenticate the Azure AI Vision Client, which is necessary for accessing and using the services provided by Azure AI. Step seven, analyze an image for tags. Let's add some code to the body of the getTextRead function. Find the comment use analyze image function to read text in image. Then under this comment, add the following code, noting that the visual features are specified when calling the analyze function. In the code you just added in the getTextRead function, and under the return the text detected in the image comment, add the following code. This code prints the image text to the console and generates the image text JPG, which highlights the image's text. Step seven. Now let's run the code. In the read text slash images folder, select Lincoln JPG to view the file that your code processes. In the code file for your application, in the main function, examine the code that runs if the user selects menu option one. This code calls the getTextRead function, passing the path to the Lincoln JPG image file. Let's run the code. When prompted, enter one and observe the output, which is the text extracted from the image.
You could see the text has been extracted from the image. Let's verify it. In the Read Text folder, select the text JPG image and notice how there's a polygon around each line of text. Now, let's run another example. In this, the text will be extracted from handwritten image located inside Note JPG file. Let's run the code one more time. When prompted, enter 2 and observe the output, which is the text extracted from the handwritten image. That's it for today's tutorial on extracting text from image with Azure AI Vision using Python and PyCharm. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Texobot for more tech tutorials and reviews. Thanks for watching.